Welcome back, fans. So let's talk about Gunner saying free young thug, uh, and Yak Gotti, YC of the label. Hey, Gunner, they ain't told you, folks. So I'm gonna go on here. I'm gonna be the first one to tell you, folks. Gunner, you was no longer YSL, folks. <laughs> yeah, you ain't you ain't YSL no more, Gunner. Uh, you you was in court. You said YSL must come to an end. You said YSL must be stopped at all costs. Yeah, that was you. You said YSL must be stopped at all costs. That's what you said, Gunner. You said YSL must be stopped at all costs. That's what you said. Now you saying freedom and it's a label and all that. Well, um, look, got it. And on front, they decided to speak out. And this is what they had to say. So, first thing they did was they unfollowed Gunner and they unfollowed uh slam life shorty on instagram then after the unfollows came they uh on funk said all that internet cap not p i'm be i'm being humble with you niggas though they felt like that was a response to gun you know what i'm saying then legati said niggas need to stop the cap then legati also said don't call me twin after Gunner said, rest in peace, little kid. I love you and I miss you, twin. Legati said, don't call me twin. Gunner, I'm telling you right now, don't call yourself YSL, bro, because you ain't YSL, bro. Look, you done flipped a whole new game. You know what your new gang is? YMB. You know what YMB stand for? Yes, ma'am, boys. Yeah, because a lot of y'all flip yes, ma'am, boy. I heard, I seen, we seen the tape. It's on footage now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, y'all the yes, ma'am, boys. So y'all ain't YSL no more. Y'all the yes, ma'am, boys. I mean, it is what it is. And Gunner, you should have known this was going to happen. You should have known you was going to catch the backlash. You should have known how all this was going to play out and how all this was going to go. Now, who to tried to warn you and tell you, bro, like, that yes, ma'am, that saying uh, all the stuff in the car, uh, it wasn't mine, and it was only you and Thug in the car. Yeah, you know. They say you was flapping your lips too much, but my whole thing with got it and unfuck them is that when people ask y'all about Gunner, y'all ain't had nothing to say. But then as soon as Gunner say something on the internet, then y'all responded with unfollow subliminals. What y'all think y'all Jay Z or something? Y'all <laughs> all these subliminal disses y'all throwing gun away? Like, come on, man. One of one of tried to test the water. He thought it was safe to come out and play. He thought <laughs> he, he thought he was just for the slide his way back into the streets. Now, now, like I said, it's past me saying he a rat and he told him yeah, this and that. I ain't finna do all that. His own people telling y'all they not rocking with him. Now it's crazy to me how you still got YSL members rocking with Umfunk and not Gunner because Umfunk was part of the. Yes, ma'am campaign too. Yeah, they're all, all yeah, he was a yes ma'am boy too, but I guess he wound B slash YSL. They just giving him the pass for whatever reason. They feel like he didn't directly incriminate the so I guess him taking the plea and saying YSL is a game, it's okay. But it's not okay for Gunner to do it, because what Gunner did was basically implicate and incriminate Thug in a particular situation when they got caught with the Grand Theft Auto cheat codes, you know, guns, drugs, all that. He said it wasn't none of mine and that it was all his. So now you got the situation where Gunner trying to, he trying to get it up, back moving. He wants the streets back on his side. He finally saying free Thug and Yak Gotti. He said he back. <laughs> Back what? You, you 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 been back on the street since you flipped yes man boy. Yeah, we all seen your initiation to the to the YMB when you flip YMB, yeah, yes man boys. We seen that. So at the end of the day, bro, it's like I don't understand why you even had to make this statement. If you ask me, all Gunner should have did was just drop some music. This post a little bit too late, bro. And they basically put it out there. They weren't feeling you, Gunner. I wouldn't go around them. I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't be cool with them. They probably don't want to be around you. They probably don't want to trust you either. But Young Thug Sister, and look at it. They be getting all type of coverage. I mean, TMZ running up on them in an the airport like they famous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, So they been all over the place. So now everybody looking towards them as being like they got the final word and the final say-so. 
when it come to YSL. And now you saying is like your paperwork don't say you got to testify. Now you got to go back to court and you got to do this and that. Now I'm inclined to believe that, like I said, it didn't sound like Gunner even knew what he was agreeing to or and or what he was saying yes ma'am to. He was just doing it because he wanted to get back up out of there, wanted to get back to the cars and the jewelry and the woman. And I, yeah, yeah, we hang young thug up. Thugger, who was that? Oh, the, the dude that was in the car with me? Well, don't want my drugs, don't want my gun, so I don't know. Well, it was only two of y'all in the car. It wasn't mine. It wasn't me. Yeah, and your paperwork say, and I understand what your lawyer's saying, but your lawyer get paid to look out for you. Your lawyer get paid to take up for you. But any smart person know the paperwork say that if called upon to testify, you have to, because basically, gun, I'm going to tell you something that your lawyer not tell you, bruh, you have became a state witness. Meaning, if you don't <laughs> satisfy the state and what they need you to do, my brother, you will be back. You will be back in jail, bro. And you will be serving all that time. Y'all don't understand. Everybody that took that wound B, the yes ma'am boy plea, is a state witness now. And if them people tell you to testify, you will be doing it or you will be sitting down doing your five years. You could just took your five years off top, did some good behavior programs, woo off the band, because you ain't really do nothing. You probably would have been home in three. Probably would have been home in two. Who knows, man? Ain't no telling, but... For right now, YSL say they are no longer claiming you. You is no longer YSL, and you can go ahead and rep that YMB. Yes, the Yes Ma'am Boys. That's your new crew. So, you know, go get some YMB jewelry. Put that label on your album covers, on the back, all that. Yeah, man, just rap it. Because you was rapping it hard on that tape, and it was bogus because that tape wasn't even supposed to be out. We weren't even supposed to see you like that, Gunner. The newsman said he ran down there, <laughs> set up in there, and pulled his phone out. And pulled his phone out. And and low key, he got more video than that. But he he got the, the footage that he put out was enough to make the internet go crazy. So he didn't even put out the whole tape. He just made sure they got the part, what you saying. Yes, ma'am, on that. So you know, it is what it is. But um, God and them, on folk them, they not rocking with you, so... Just get you a YMB chain, a yes man boy chain, bro, and call it a day. And like I said, uh, sign the Charleston White Records. You know, he all for that snitching and right. He all for that. He say you cool with him. You down with him. So, you know, you be all good, gonna You know, it is what it is, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, the like, follow, do all that good stuff, man. I'm going to keep y'all updated. More videos to come, man. It's your boy, Buddha. I'm out.